Good afternoon, Facebook family, Twitter, LinkedIn, my Facebook fans, as well as my group fans. My name is Karen Wilkins, and I am representing KarenWilkins.com, which is a website where we help entrepreneurs, probably just like yourself, build a successful business by showing you how to use simple tips, techniques, and strategies. So if you're struggling in your business, if you're struggling trying to um, drive traffic to your website, even to a brick and mortar store, if you're uh, struggling really trying to generate more sales, then I got you covered. Connect with me either here on Facebook at Karen Wilkins 37909 or my Winning Mindset Strategies fan page where I can really connect with you, show you how to implement the strategies that you're going to need to either generate leads, generate and drive traffic or generate more sales. So that's me. I'm Karen Wilkins. Now, I'm coming to you today with my food for thought segment. This is my live segment that I am going to be uh, developing and bringing to you every Monday, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays so that you can make some decisions to, you know, live a more healthy life, get your body performing at, a, at its peak performance level just, my, just by making simple decisions to do something different. So today we're going to discuss insomnia. Can't sleep? If that's you or someone you know, you're going to want to get a notepad and a pen or, pa pen or pencil and take some notes because I got some good stuff for you. <clears throat> See, if you really want to know what you can do to get more sleep, first you got to figure out why you what's happening that what's happening that's preventing you from sleeping but before we even get into that i want to preface this whole segment by saying listen i help networkers or marketers entrepreneurs with marketing strategies that are so simple you're going to want to know why didn't i figure this out before however next week i am bring to you a six week training slash coaching session it's going to be a course that's going to be interactive where i'm going to give you strategies to implement you're going to implement them and get results and then you're going to come back and let me know what happened now this is going to be a course where you're going to be able to dominate facebook just by implementing these strategies if this is something that you can see yourself doing you know getting from where you are now to actually advance ranking in your business or just really developing some mass action you know in your business and you really want to do that then here's what i suggest connect with me right here on facebook let me know that this is something you want to do I will give you all the information. Now, this is absolutely 100% free. There's no hidden fees. We're going to do a six-week course. Now, I do have some slots available. Not a lot, but the door is still open. So, as long as you raise your hand and say, listen, I want to advance rank. I want to finally start generating leads. I want to be able to you know make more sales I mean aren't you in business to make sales mm -hmm. if that's you just leave me a message or leave a comment in the section below and I'll connect with you and we'll make it happen okay now I want you to know that it's not my strategies alone I have been taught by some of the best I still have top-notch coaches like Lisa Torres and Markel Russell and you know Ray Higdon's and Diane Hockman, Brian Finale. I have strategies that they have given me so I can get results and you deserve that too. So I'm willing to do that as long as you're willing to participate. I'm willing to give you 
all the strategies that I have. Now, back to can't sleep. <clears throat> Give me one minute. Let me get some water because I don't want to lose my voice again today. <clears throat> I didn't forget this time. Okay, so if you're one of the nine million people who are unable to lay their heads on the pillow pillow at night and really go off into sleep and sleep uninterrupted for seven to nine hours then you're right here in the right place see your body needs to have seven to nine hours of uninterrupted sleep now I know there are a lot of people out there that says I, I can exist on four hours I only get six hours my body won't let me sleep longer than five hours well if that's the case there's something wrong there's a fundamental problem there and you really need to take a look at it because your body when you sleep your body is repairing itself and if you're not sleeping for seven to nine hours then you're not getting that re the repairs and the energy that you really need to do the things you need now yesterday I discussed you know we really can live longer than a hundred years I just read an article on a, a man over in one of the Asian countries that was 256 years old when he passed away. Now, that's not far-fetched. You have to do the things necessary that's going to allow your body to regenerate and repair itself so that you can get on with the business of living and really enjoy living like we don't have to be old and decrepit when we get to 60 70 80 you know like we don't have to suffer from illnesses like diabetes hypertension you know all of the diseases that we're seeing these days because of the things we're doing and eating is a main component actually it's really like component one two and three if you don't have the proper nutrients in your body for your body to repair itself to regenerate and to become stronger then it's not going to happen now in this country and maybe in other countries because of the way the food is processed a lot of the nutrients that we need does not get to where it needs to go and that presents a whole nother problem but I even got you covered on that but anyway let's get to the business of not being able to sleep when you're not able to, to sleep you actually put yourself in a position to um, have more illnesses and more chronic conditions like you become irritable you you're tired and sleepy during the day you know you can't seem to wrap your mind around concepts and problems like yesterday we talked about having brain fog that is not a good way or a good feeling to have but it is a real condition where you're not really able to think clearly you can't call on memory easily you you're not able to remember long-term things or short-term things and so if that's happening it might be because you're not getting enough sleep so another problem that not getting enough sleep causes is weight gain if now you would probably know this better than anyone if you're not sleeping you probably are eating more trying to get sleepy or just because you don't have anything else to do you're sitting in front of the TV you're eating potato chips and popcorn well popcorn is kind of good for you but you know pretzels cake cookies you know all those things that you really don't need your body doesn't need and is not going to get you where you need to go which is to sleep <laughs> okay so you want to stop that um, not sleeping also 
elevates your blood pressure so if you're finding that you might be having what they call hypertension and you really don't know why it could be because you're not sleeping and you're not getting enough sleep on a regular basis now like I said yesterday my doctor told me it doesn't matter what's causing your blood pressure to uh, elevate it doesn't matter it could be medicine it could be pain it could be the fact that you're pregnant whatever it is it's still an issue and it has to be addressed because your blood pressure when it rises up mm -hmm. can causes mm -hmm. um, a condition mm -hmm. like having a stroke or a heart attack even so you want to really focus on um, doing whatever is necessary to get your blood pressure down and getting to sleep will help now another issue for um, when you not getting enough sleep is you start to experience chronic discomfort and chronic aches all over your body <clears throat> now there are some conditions that actually cause this but not getting proper sleep or enough sleep will do that as well and then you'll have mental illnesses like depression and anxiety and that's not fun to have because when you're feeling anxious you just can't relax you're not comfortable in any situation not even in sleeping so you know these are things that you just don't want to prolong you don't want to have to go through this for weeks months even years and let me tell you it's not a fun condition <coughs> to really have let me tell you a short story let me tell you something about myself nine years ago in 2007 I was in a car accident and I was driving a eight cylinder SUV a big thing you know and I was hit head on by a smaller car now when I saw the car coming I couldn't veer out the out the way because I actually was at a stoplight and there was a car next to me and if I would have been if I would have veered to my left I would have been in on oncoming traffic so I couldn't move I was in the turn lane and I couldn't move so when I saw the car coming at me what I did was I braced myself and I held on to the steering wheel so that my car wouldn't be moved into either lane and therefore cause another comp you know issue so when we when it was all done you know after he crashed into my car we got out and I took a look at my car and I really didn't have any damage you know so I didn't think there was an issue but as I after you know we made the police report and everything as I was driving home I realized that there was something wrong like the car wasn't actually going where I needed it to go so when I took the car to get repaired the repairman told me that the car actually the accident had actually broke the steering column so when that car hit me head on by me bracing I took the shock of that whole accident so much so that it broke the steering column so you can imagine the force that I was hit with well everyone told me I was lucky I didn't you know I, it wasn't more damage you know at least my body wasn't damaged so I thought but here's what happened to me because I took on all of that impact it disrupted every single function in my body it took about a week or two before I felt it but it was as if my whole life had been turned upside down I couldn't sleep I couldn't eat there were days I got up out of the bed I couldn't stand up on my legs I was like what the heck is going on I couldn't figure this thing out and so when I went to 
you know, I, I actually had a team of doctors working with me and there was neurological damage. There was um, some physical issues that I was experiencing. There's a name for it. I don't really want to discuss that here, but there's a whole slew of people that are suffering from this chronic condition. And one of the things you suffer from is not being able to sleep. And so for almost a whole year, I couldn't sleep. I would maybe get a nap here and two hours there, you know, an hour, you know, here and there, but not seven to nine hours of uninterrupted sleep. And boy, did I pay for that. Man, mm -hmm. it's not something I would wish on anybody, but it also created that mental mm -hmm. fogginess thing for me where I really couldn't think, really couldn't concentrate, read. I, I was an avid reader before all of this happened. And during that time, really for about five years, I couldn't read a newspaper, a magazine. I couldn't concentrate. I couldn't comprehend what I was reading. I mean, my life was turned upside down you know and it really started to become worse and worse and you know they put me on all kind of medication but medication only masks issues it doesn't solve problems you know it it it's good because you want to not feel the things you're feeling but it's not good because it's not helping you really and the fact that it's not healing your body and so I was introduced to a product that really oh my god it I, oh my god it really really helped me and whereas nothing else could on the natural realm nothing else really could help me now that sleeping issue, let me tell you how I was able to start going to sleep. Because if you stay up for a whole year, you really start to feel kind of crazy. And people don't believe you because you they know you have to get to sleep. You know, but if you're a person that is suffering from it, it's not funny. It's, it, it causes you to be depressed. You are, you do have anxiety. You start to have, um, you know, just issues because it starts to play on your mm -hmm. mind. Like, why can't I go to sleep? What's going on? Why, you know, the levels of stress, hypertension, all of those things really started happening. But <clears throat> the sleep issue, I was able to overcome. And let me tell you how. First, if you're suffering mm -hmm. from insomnia, your insomnia can be brought on by a traumatic event like I'm telling you what happened with me <clears throat> and then it can be brought on from stress you know just worrying about the bills the kids the house the husband or the wife you know your spouse a relationship just having all of these worryations really can bring on sleepless nights <clears throat> you can also find yourself in an insomnia situation if you have a change in your life like maybe going to a new school or getting a new job maybe moving to a new location a new state a new house you know um buying a major uh making a major purchase like purchasing a house or car you know like they call that um bias remorse but it's bias remorse to another level because of the purchase like <laughs> true story when we were younger my parents decided that they were going to purchase a home in another state in a much bigger home than what we lived in and they made they put a down payment on the house and by the time we got home my father had broke out in hives <laughs> he suffered he started experiencing oh um diarrhea and he started having sleepless nights so much so that my mother said listen if you're gonna go through all of these problems mm -hmm. take the damn down payment off and we'll just stay here like why put yourself through all of those issues for a house when you are more important than that 
you know and it was funny to us but it wasn't really funny because that was a change that he wasn't comfortable with and he didn't want to upset my mom so you know take note now another thing that can create insomnia is alcohol caffeine and medications they all can you know too much of them or just having them on a regular basis in your life will create insomnia you know and medication might be something you need but you need to speak with your doctor about these remedies I'm going to tell you about so that you can get to a position where you're getting enough sleep because when you get enough sleep baby let me tell you mm -hmm. your whole life can you know like I got my whole life back you know not just from getting enough sleep that was the start but when you really are getting what or you're you're feeling well rested you become energized you'd be wanting to take on projects that maybe you shied away from before getting enough sleep is so important so here's what you can do if those are the reasons why you're suffering with insomnia and like I said medication can be um, an issue Speak to your doctor and see whether you can do these things. Now, we're going to start off light and then we're going to get right into it. Because sometimes you just need a more vigorous remedy. And so, the first remedy that you might want to do is, of course, reduce your caffeine or alcohol intake. That would make sense, wouldn't it? <laughs> but if you can't. I get it because you know some people just really they're, they're, that's a whole nother issue and if you want to but you can't you might want to look at what I do as far as what I do for my nutritional intake to get my body performing at a peak performance level and trust me it is I'm, I'm, I'm a I'm, I'm a 360 well it's a 180 I went from almost being bedridden to you can't sit me down <laughs> you cannot sit me down to like do nothing what are you are you what you crazy <laughs> not me <laughs> nope not me but anyway okay so you want to reduce the caffeine intake the alcohol intake if you can do that wonderful you might see that you can get off to sleep and sleep for the seven to nine hours that your body really wants <clears throat> another thing to do is take a nice warm bath you know if you just soak in the tub let your cares and worries just float away you might be able to now be able to rest you know because resting is very important you know you might can rest enough that your mind will quiet down and allow you to move off to sleep and then incorporate meditation into that you know saying um 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 over and over again can really put your mind off into a, a void type of state where you can sleep now for me when I was having my issue these helped me to sleep longer but not seven to nine hours and like I said some people are going to need a more vigorous um, remedy because the the reason why they're not able to sleep is more than just one thing like mine probably was brought on by the traumatic incident that created a chronic condition mm -hmm. and so you know I needed something a little more but I was able to get more sleep which allowed me to think I had a high-powered high business that I had built up to a six-figure where I was earning six figures I had staff and I didn't need to not be sleeping I you know making little mistakes especially when you're dealing with numbers 
can cost you big time and I couldn't afford that. So you might be in a situation like that too and if you are then you want to make certain that you're getting enough sleep so you're not making little little tiny mistakes. Okay so here's what I started doing. <clears throat> now I don't, I'm not certain what is in it to allow you to go to sleep but if you start eating wild lettuce, wild lettuce, W-I-L-D, and maybe even celery before you go to sleep, the, the, the mm -hmm. nutrients in it will help your mind to settle down. See, one of the things that has happened over a course of time of not sleeping, you now have a chemical imbalance and it's going to you you have to now trick your mind into going to sleep you know they say shut the TV off make the room dark you know like bring on the things that your mind will believe is sleepy but um, wild le lettuce and celery are two things that I incorporated into my strategy to to go to sleep and it seemed to work you know it seemed to work for to the extent I wasn't reaching REM sleep which is very necessary that's why you need to sleep for seven to nine hours because you have to get down to the REM sleep which is where you're really like dreaming and you you're it's a deeper sleep I was still messing around up here not dreaming not um when waking up not really feeling rested but I was sleeping Okay, um, you can purchase this from a health food store or um, one of those stores that just sell herbs, but it's called hops. Now, hops is the active ingredient in beer, so if you drink beer, you might can attest to this, but hops is a natural way to go to sleep. It's a mild, um, it's a mild remedy for you to naturally fall off to sleep now I don't drink beer but what I did with hops because I purchased it from the health food store is I put it inside my pillowcase now I didn't smell anything but my partner he said that he didn't like the way it smelled so I had to get rid of it but it was putting me off to sleep it, it really relaxed me and just being able to smell it allow me to go to sleep you can also make tea out of it hops and chamomile will give you a natural sleep and quite possibly you will reach that REM level and have a deep sleep um, melatonin is a hormone that we produce in our bodies and it is what allows us to go to sleep and and develop that chemical what well, you melatonin is the chemical but it's like the developing that schedule so that we know it's time to go to bed it's time to go to sleep now like when that hour comes for you it's time to go to sleep and you will feel it well melatonin is that which does it now because it is a hormone if you take medication I would suggest you ask your doctor whether it's something that you can take that's kind of tricky with that I'm not a doctor I'm not I'm going to make any medical claims I just know that melatonin being that it's a natural um, hormone we produce it in our bodies if we're not sleeping we're not producing enough of it so by taking it you're only introducing more of it into your body but I think I, I want to preface this by saying ask your doctor whether it's something that you can do that would be like the rigorous, vigorous, you know, remedy to help you get to sleep. Now, the last remedy I have for you is um, lavender. Lavender is a nice, well, you know it's a flower. And if you buy the oil, like the essential oil lavender, and just sprinkle it on your pillow. I wish I would have known about lavender when I had the hops things going on, but I didn't use it. 
but lavender sprinkled on your pillow will allow you to move off into a nice low sleep like really just hmm go off to sleep and reach that REM sleep which is a deep sleep um, you can also get this herb called valerian it's a plant it's a herb that you get from the health food store now I saved this for last because I used it and it worked but it took a long time before it worked it, it took over two weeks during that two week period it irritated and agitated my nerves so bad that I was doing more jerks in the bed than anything else I mean I really had an issue with it and I understand that if you're going to have that kind of issue don't mm -hmm. use it like use something mm -hmm. else because there are other remedies that you can use but like I'm saying valerian is real good once it starts to work you really go right off to sleep and sleep for your mm -hmm. eight hours or seven to nine hours whichever your body needs now I hope this has really been helpful for you if it has leave me a comment in the section below as a matter of fact I want you to show up all the time you know be here because I, I got some good stuff for you and I don't want you to miss it so go ahead and hit the subscribe button which is up top hit that subscribe button and by doing that you'll get notification that you know I'm going to be presenting on the live uh, streaming so I want you to be around to get this information so please go ahead and do that but if you have a comment for me leave it in the section below <clears throat> now here's what I really want to tell you I take a product when I need to because because I know how to stay up all night I can do that real easily especially if I get excited about something or I got work that I want to complete you know I can easily stay up all night I take a product that is filled with natural um, na nutrients that's the word thank you <laughs> you know it's filled with natural nutrients it has melatonin, it has valerian, it has chamomile, um, it has hops. You know, it has some other chemical. I don't want to say chemicals. That's the wrong word. It's all natural. And it's filled with, and hops may not be in it, but it's filled. I know valerian, melatonin, chamomile. Um, I think, I'm not going to think. I'm just going to tell you that I know. And then it has other natural nutrients. And this product is in a gel form. So you take it maybe an hour before you want to go to sleep. You allow the gel to sit under your tongue for 20 seconds. And then you swallow. And you do that until the pack is actually gone. And it has a nice taste to it. It's not bitter. It, it actually it has a nice taste to it almost um, like a berry vanilla -y type of, of taste and you just let, allow your body to absorb the nutrients in it and before you know it you be uh, wanting to go to sleep so if you can't sleep if you're up all night you don't have to be you can actually now get seven to nine hours of sleep I've just given you eight ways that you can actually do that so go ahead and take a look at the remedies that I am presenting to you now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna upload um, this in written form and I'm going to take this video and place it on the website so you can come back here and take notes if you didn't do it you know when I actually started this broadcast but I want you to be able to get rest now when I actually need to take the product that I take I wake up energized I mean I have so much energy it's not even like I 
took something to go to sleep. And that's what you want. You don't want to wake up feeling groggy or have that brain fog going on. You want to wake up and be ready to hit, hit the road. And that's what my product allows you to do. So if you want to know what that is, go ahead and leave me a comment in the comment section below. And I'll be happy to share it with you. I'm not here trying to produce or promote any product. However, I am a health and wellness promoter. I have my degree in health science. So I am qualified to come to you and give you information about health. And I plan on doing just that. And I'm going to do it to the best of my ability as consistently and as often as possible. So get used to it. I'm going to be showing up and showing off to let you know exactly what it is I have for you. Now, if you would like to be a health and wellness promoter as well, I train. And I will train you on how to promote your product. Whatever product that is. If you want to promote my product, well, wonderful. But if you have a, another product that you want to promote, I have no problem in training you on how to promote a health and wellness product. I got some new tips that I just received today from my powerful mm -hmm. coach and mentor and I'm willing to share it with you. In the meantime, my time is up. I got to go. But I'll see you back here on the next live flow. Food and thought. Food for thought, excuse me, is the name of my segment and I want to see you here. So make certain that you're present at the next time I am presenting which will be Monday so have a great weekend if you're interested in my boot camp make certain to leave me a comment or either here or under the flyer that you're going to be seeing going around on Facebook in the meantime I gotta go have a wonderful weekend everyone bye